In this session, we are going to learn about the concept of query processing. Okay. What is query processing? I say query processing is the list of activities that are performed to obtain the required tuples that satisfy a given query. Okay, so you can think of it as I have a black box over here. Okay, my query goes in from here and out comes the result. Okay, or set of tuples if it is a relational database. Okay, and this entire process is known as query processing. Okay. Now let's look at the query processing process. Okay. The steps involved in a query processing procedure. Okay. So I have here a diagram which is going to tell us what are the steps that are involved in a query processing process are okay so this is my diagram okay we have over here three basic units that are being used to process a given query I have a parser and translator I have an optimizer and I have an evaluation engine okay so we are going to look at them one by one okay first let me start with parser and translator okay I'll write it over here parser and translator what does it do? Parser and translator, first it is going to check if you have written the query in correct syntax. Okay, so if you have something like select, select employee name from employee having name is equal to ABC okay then obviously you can see we cannot use having over here we should have used where so my parser and translator is going to say that this query is invalid the syntax is wrong and it won't be processed okay so the first function of my parser and translator is to check for syntax okay it checks for syntax then it checks for schema elements okay what do we mean by this I say if I have query like this select employee dot let's say employee dot gmail account or gmail username okay from employees okay and I realize that gmail username is not a valid attribute of employees okay employees does not have gmail username stored so what is going to say it's going to say such a schema element does not exist and my query won't be processed so the next thing is all the elements so what are the elements over here element is the relation employee element is the attribute being referred all these elements should be part of the schema definition so my parser and translator checks for that okay and finally what it does it it converts it converts the query into relational algebra expression okay into relational algebra expression okay so these are the roles of my parser and translator now next we are going to come to optimizer 